angry men, women and youths of Ohore community in Uye local government's area march through the streets in protest against the alleged encroachments on their land by the military. From there, the protesters proceed to the controversial land in question, pulling down signposts erected by the army, along with the other ones they can find. For over a decade, this piece of land has been a bone of contention between the army and the community. They claim the army illegally appropriated more than what it was originally allocated, encroaching on their ancestral homes. After the House of Fred committee looking investigating this matter, yes. put an order that the army should stop further invasion, selling, leasing and development of any project on this land yes. until the determination of the matter in Abuja. The residents are concerned that most of the buildings on the disputed land have been marked for demolition by the Nigerian army, including the school. The acquisition of land of the military, today they speak, happened in 1976. Now, military are now claiming that the land was acquired by them before Uhure Idijin came in. It is a lie. This old woman is among residents on the verge of losing their ancestral homes. We will not allow the army to oppress us because we do not have ammunition and guns to fight with them. All the few, we are just a dot in the Nigerian map. Please, we are begging the community and our army, army as a whole to leave our land alone. At the palace of the traditional ruler, all is quiet, a complete contrast to the rage on the other side of town. The traditional ruler claims to be completely unaware of the action taken by his people, but he is nonetheless on their side. Uh, it, it appears that uh, the army is taking us for granted. The NNPC, the WROPC, Nigerian Gas, all of them are here. If there is any violent uh, sin, of course the nation will be affected. And I will not contribute to such violent uh, attitude. The state government is also aware of the dispute. The reason why the military, of course, is also deployed to some of these areas is to assist the regular police and other security agencies to maintain the peace. And we just do hope that our people will also give them that um, cooperation for them to be able to ensure that we all live peacefully. At the same time, we are very, very mindful of the fact that the military too will respect uh, the, uh, the uh, demands. Welcome back. Um, I, I know when it comes to land matters, you know, tempers are always, you know... People would kill for land in this country. And, of course, we don't want any <laughs> killings, particularly in this... In this um, now that we are still waiting for the report of the mediation from the House of Reps, have you gone back to say, oh, these are the new, you know, the things happening, to tell you know, members of that committee who may be looking into, into this on behalf of the, of the House of Reps? In fact, I had to write to them twice. But from the, from the impunity in the land, where you have impunity all over the place, I can tell you the army under the president leadership will not obey anything that comes from the House of Rep. Hmm. If they don't obey... No, you, you can't judgment. say that. Let's, let's wait. No, you can't, that's you can't preempt them. them. Then, two, let me make a revelation to you. As we are here now, the army take their wives into the farm cultivated by my people and they harvest their farm at gunpoint. Fish pond are plundered. At is the point. Delta State government aware of all this? That is it. That is, that, that is the thing. Because I'm sure, too, the Delta State government's hands are tied by the fact that it is the military we are talking about. It's the rule of the God. But thank God we have a traditional ruler that will not hurt a fly. But you see, there is a limit to the elasticity of humans' endurance. Now that you are now marking their farmland, marking their fish pond, the people may one day be tempted also to resist the army. 
And that is why we have to come here to shout to the entire world, this is our light. To to, it to is the overlooking mm. of Yusuf that led to this Boko Haram. And look at the billions we are spending. That will have been enough to train our children in schools. And we want to avoid it. As we are talking now, the army goes to the market, illegally erected in the land, and collect money from the owners of the land as market store rent. They should receive it. Even where they sell ram and cows, it is the army that goes there to levy fees on each cow that is brought to the market and slaughter, and they collect the money. Has and these people are from, not, none of them is from Delta. Has a complaint been made to the hierarchy of the army, telling them what their people are doing? Thank you very much. We went to the army for six months. I was traveling with my traditional ruler between Warrior and Abuja. And at the end of the day, from the grapevine, the committee told the army hierarchy, this is oppression at its highest. Those parcels of the land that were not part of the CFO released to them. Exactly. They have not even used one quarter of the one that as is in the, that they even after exhausting the, those ones, selling to Chevron Cooperative plot of land they cost between 15 and 20 million. I have 70 something photos here of private individuals. Multiply that. Could it be a case? 140 that million. That this money does not go into the coffers of government. Some person just sit down and share, share. it among themselves. We raise this point. Okay. But it seems okay. the man is so powerful. So what is the purpose of you coming here today? What, what do you want? Well, uh, like I said, the Nigeria army where they build their barrack is less than a quarter of the land purportedly acquired for public purposes. Absolutely. Because, for absolute public purposes. Because of that primitive acquisition of the land, they now have opportunity to be selling it for their own selfish gain. Mm -hmm. So we are demanding, first, that the 436 acres that was not part of the original acquisition, mm -hmm. alleged acquisition, mm -hmm. not that we are, we are agreeing that there was a legal acquisition, 436 acres of land that was not in the alleged acquisition of 1975 mm. should be released to the people of Uye without any condition. Because to start with, it is what is in the Gazette is different from what is the certificate of occupation. Obviously, I don't need to be a lawyer to know that that's an illegal uh, acquisition. Okay. Secondly, the alleged acquisition and the need of the Nigerian army is totally invariant. Like I said, they are using less than one quarter of the land for their barrack, for their shooting range, and whatever have you. So they have over three quarters of the land unused, and that is what they are now able to sell. Mm. They have market, you have Mami 1, Mami 2, Mami 3, Mami 20, where they collect tolls. The Uvia Local Government Council is unable to collect tolls from those markets. And we know by the law of Nigeria, it is the local government that was supposed to be collecting tolls from market. Mm. But these people cannot get there. The local government cannot get to the parks, trailer park where they park their load. It is the Nigerian army that is collecting all this money unaccounted for in the Federation. So we are saying that the Nigerian army should also enter into negotiation with the Uvia people through our solicitor to determine what part of the land should be released to the army and what part should be released to the original owners of the land. Because we have people who are farmers, they are by occupation, they need their land to farm. And the people who is painful that when you see strangers selling your land and you are not benefiting from it, you have said the importance of land, land is attached to the people's blood. So this is oppressive. Those, those are some of the conditions we are giving. Mm -hmm. Any more? To add to that, I am on my knees begging Nigerians to also look directly to that way. We have looked at Boko Haram. We are, we are learning a lesson. We want the Nigerian public, the entire world. Because when we now finish here, if we cannot, we'll be forced to go to the United Nations Committee on Human Rights to cry to the United Nations 
of this type of poor group. Okay. Lastly, sir, yeah. the army should stop collecting toll from land, from markets. Market belong to the local government and the traditional institution. That is not where they ought to be any any income. I, I'm, I'm just thinking, um, is it that, I, I'm sure you must have checked, you know, some of the papers that you have, but I'm talking about thorough checking now because I don't think that, you know, if you don't have this land, you should move on it. So is it that it could be somewhere in the very, you know, possibility that in those times, you know, this land that you're talking about has been given? T thank God, I'm not a toddler. I've been born in 1974, and I have the documentations here. That's why I came here. I have the sea of O's. I have the, I have the plan of the entire land. We commission a, a surveyor, and we serve the army. They could not file a single document at the House of Red. They were dilly-dallying, looking for subterfuge. Up to today, I challenge them to come here. So this program. There is nothing on your own part that may have, you know, given this portion to. Nothing. It's just armed impunity. Oppression. That, that is just the name. Just because they have the weapon of mass okay. destruction. Okay. Well, we hope that uh, this matter will be resolved without any um, bloodletting. In fact, their um, committee advised them. Now that these people are demanding it without violence, release these things to them no, so we that should. we can have a good, robust relationship with our host. But the hierarchy at the top, who are making millions on end income, on end millions mm. from it, turn that report of committee. And in their very insulting letter, ask us to go to hell if we want to. Well. It is from, have, that is the letter from the army headquarters. You, you have, from the headquarters? Yes, army headquarters. Signed, written to me, signed by one Colonel Taiwo for the chief of staff. And the funny thing As, about that document is that they accepted that they took 436 acres in excess of what was in the Gazette. They accepted. So, uh, but, so what else can you take this case? Uh, anyway, they are accepted in the letter. Out. In the court of public opinion. Yes. Colonel Tai will sign this. Yeah, okay. they are Admitting that okay. they overreach okay. the land. We hope that you will keep us posted as to when the uh, report comes the from the, Army would, would also from the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. And we hope that they will respond to these um, allegations which you have made. Because as far as we're concerned, they're nothing but uh, allegations. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, we hope that this case will be settled amicably. And if indeed their land was acquired, discussions need to take place and compensations paid. That is what we know that gets done. Thank you very much for coming. Um, Chief Victor Tomiawo, as well as Dr. Jimo Esenaki, both of uh, Uvia community. Thank you for the opportunity. Uvia community we are in Delta for this State. Opportunity. Thank you Just very much. Just my last word, when the army wants to come, let them come, let us, let, we should be invited to, because they were given the opportunity to come for this one. They rebuff it as usual, because they rely on unity. We want to be here. Even if it, it, if it means us financing as a private Thank you. discussion, Thank you. I will do. Thank for you. them to come free of charge. Thank you, Chief Otomi. Thank, Thank you. And that is where we wrap. Uh, and that is where we round up today's program. Unfortunately, uh, we need to close the program early today for some unforeseen circumstances. Mm -hmm. Hope you loved being with us as we enjoyed bringing you the program. Mm.